Rachel Maddow, my doppelganger. I try not to go after her too much. Uh, you know, I feel a certain kinship to her. Might be an actual kinship. I don't know. We've never taken a DNA test. Rachel Maddow has spread misinformation about the coronavirus. It means that instead of the vaccine being able, excuse me, it means for instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person to person, spreading and spreading, sickening some of them, but not all of them. And the ones that it doesn't sicken don't know they have it. And then they give it to even more people because they didn't recognize they were right. Instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person, potentially mutating and becoming more virulent and drug resistant along the way. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. It cannot use a vaccinated person as a host to go get more people. That means the vaccines will get us to the end of this. If we just go fast enough to get the whole population vaccinated. So what she said is not true, and it's now been contradicted by the public health authorities. This is a great example because Ms. Maddow and I might bear some passing similarity, okay, some passing resemblance, and yet she says false things and doesn't get censored. I say true things that now even the public health officials admit are true, and I do get censored. Why is that? What's going on here? Why has that been the case for the whole of the lockdown and the pandemic and whatever? And why does that continue to be the case? More on that in one second. First though, no one wants to cut corners on what's important. And few things matter more than a good night's rest. Bowl and Branch's signature sheets feel so soft and light, you will forget that you are not actually sleeping on a cloud. No, you're just sleeping on sheets. They just happen to be the best sheets in the world. I really love them. I've had the opportunity to sleep on really fancy sheets when I go to fancy hotels, which has happened two or three times in my life at least, and it's really great. And you think, why can't I do this every single night? Well, you can with Bowl and Branch. They're a bestseller for a reason. Buttery soft, lightweight, organic cotton in a classic sateen weave for sheets that get softer and softer over time. Not too hot, not too cool. I got these as a wedding present for myself. I have given these to friends and family. They're just absolutely wonderful. Experience the best sheets you've ever felt at BowlingBranch.com. Get 15% off your first set of sheets when you use promo code Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L at checkout. That's BowlingBranch, B-O-L-L and Branch.com. Promo code Michael, B-O-L-L-A-N-D Branch.com. Promo code Michael. So Rachel Maddow has gone on air and said that the vaccines 100% prevent people from contracting the virus, one, and transmitting the virus, two. 100%. The virus just stops at that person. And that's why if enough people get the vaccine, then the virus will just completely stop. Now, I know that apparently I can be censored and have been censored on YouTube for pointing out that this is not true, which is why I would recommend you go to the audio podcast, the Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts, subscribe to the Michael Knowles show there, and you will get the un, completely uncensored. You won't have to deal with YouTube or any of the other big tech censors there. But you don't need to just take my word for it. All of the major public health officials have directly contradicted what Rachel Maddow said. What they can't do anymore is prevent transmission. You know, we didn't have vaccines that block transmission. We got vaccines that help you with your health, but they only slightly reduce the transmissions. We need a new a new way of doing the vaccine. The level of virus in the nasopharynx of a person who's vaccinated and infected is the same level as the level of virus in the nasopharynx of an unvaccinated person. Reports from our international colleagues, including Israel, suggest increased risk of severe disease amongst those vaccinated early. And if you look at Israel, Mm -hmm. which has always been a month to a month and a half ahead of us, they are seeing a waning of immunity, not only against infection, but against hospitalizations and to some extent death. The booster might actually be an essential part of the primary regimen that people should have. So there you have it. 
Rachel Maddow says one thing. The public health officials directly contradict what she said. In this case, only much later, only long after the fact, but it does happen to be the case that what the public health officials have said in this specific case is true. What Rachel Maddow said was completely wrong. So my question, the Babylon Bee asked this question yesterday. Why is she not being kicked off of Twitter for misinformation? She has spread much more misinformation about COVID than Marjorie Taylor Greene has. Why does Marjorie Taylor Greene get kicked off of social media, but Rachel Maddow does not? Why does this show, which has an extraordinarily good record <laughs> in terms of uh, calling the shots on this virus, why does this show more, I, I hate, you know, I hate to say I told you so, you know, I hate to toot my own horn, probably more accurate than all, almost any other show, if not every single other show <laughs> on, on the coronavirus from day one. How come we get censored, but Rachel Maddow, who's been dead wrong for most of it, she doesn't get censored because I have actually have the answer to that. It is not about what you say. It is about who is saying it. It is, it actually, it is not now, nor has it ever been about what is said about the virus. It is about who does the saying it. Hold up. Did you like that clip? Don't be honest. Don't just flatter me. I hope you did. If you did, ring that bell. Subscribe. You'll get the notifications. If you really want to get the notifications, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe there. Maybe leave a five-star review. I don't know. We'll see you next time.